Welcome back to the show. I am here with Holly Maloney, realtor with the Maloney Real Estate Group with EXP Realty. Holly, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Melissa. Glad to be here. So we've been talking about how it's important for a seller to be represented by a real estate agent, but why is it important as a buyer to be represented? And how much does something like that cost? Well, for a buyer to, rep to be represented, it is very important because you want your own representation. You don't want to go to be represented um, by the listing agent because they are in contract with that seller and they're representing that seller. It's very important to have your own representation because you don't want to overpay for a property. Um, you want to make sure that somebody is looking out for your best, best interests and it is actually free to be represented. So I know that you were talking about some trends in Cincinnati and right now there's a lot of first time buyers that are buying in the springtime. Um, where do they start? What's some, do you have any good tips for where they should start when they're looking for their first home? Yeah, what, what a first time home buyer. I work with a lot of first time home buyers here in Cincinnati and it's a great idea to contact a real estate agent if you have any questions to get the whole process started. So you wanna contact that agent. The agent will get you in touch with a good lender if you haven't already have a relationship with a lender that you work with because there are programs that benefit first time home buyers. There's grants out there that they could qualify for. There's down payment assistance and you want to make sure that you're getting the right type of loan um, before you start looking at properties. Um, in that scenario, I guess knowledge is power. <laughs> Correct, correct, and like I said, it is free to be represented by a, to have a buyer's agent. It is free, they'll do all of the legwork for you. The market here in Cincinnati is so fast now that things are coming on the market. They're being sold in one day or sometimes less than one day. So if you have an agent, they might be able to find you properties before they even come on the market so you don't get caught up in a bidding war, multiple offers and end up overpaying for a property. Yeah, I feel like no one ever wants to do that. Um, now I know. Yeah. No. Now in the past, you know, people have been wanting to buy foreclosures or things that are on hold. But it sounds like fixer uppers really aren't a thing anymore, and millennials are looking for something else. They are. Um and they are still a thing, but they're harder to come by a short sale or a foreclosure. So it's, it's harder to buy that. A lot of lenders will not lend on that house um, if there's too much wrong with it. So what the trend I'm seeing is a lot of millennials are liking the houses after the contractors fix them up and they flip them and they're moving ready. So basically they can just they can tweet and Instagram and then just call it a day. They don't even have to paint a room anymore. <laughs> well, thank you, Holly, for taking time with us today. Good luck, and we'll talk to you soon. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning into the show. We'll be right back.